my little treasure. Cup of coffee and a quick count up. I mean, who's gonna look after me in me old age? Will you, Birdie? Will you? Will you? You! You! Why are you awake? Whatever you seen, quick, quick, speak! I want to hear every detail you saw! I couldn't sleep anymore, sir. And first off, I disturbed you, sir. Were you awake five minutes ago? No, sir. Two minutes ago? Not that I know of, sir. Be sure, be sure. All right, then, I'm sure. All right, then. <laughs> if you're sure, I'm sure. Of course, I knew all along, my dear. I was only trying to frighten you. You're a brave boy, Oliver. A brave boy. Did you see any of the pretty things, my dear? Yes, sir. Ah, they're mine, Oliver. Mine. My little property. All I've got to live off of in me old age. It's a terrible thing, old age. Do you think I could get up now, sir? Eh? Certainly, my boy, certainly. There's a basin of water over there. You can have a wash. But I had a wash yesterday, sir. Today's your birthday. Wash! Wake up, boys! The ladies are here! <laughs> Nancy and Bet. Charm to meet you. Oh, yes, we're all ladies and gentlemen here. We're all quality. <laughs> <laughs> you would a new quality if you saw it. None of you. Except Dodd. Have you seen the way them quality gentlemen treat their ladies? Of course I am. Yeah. Shall we show them how it's done? Right here. Go on, Nancy. Give us a free show on the stage. Come on, Nancy, let's hear it. Shut up, all of you. How does it go again now, Dodge? It's all bowing and hats off. And, and don't let your petticoats dangle in the mud, my darling. And I'll go last. No, I'll go last. <laughs> I'll go last. I do anything for you. Anything. Though your eyes go pop. Anything. When you 
come down plop. Hang everything we risk like a limp to keep you in the swim. Yes, we do anything, anything, anything for you. Artful Dodger shall give you another suit and fear you'll so spoil this Sunday one. <laughs> Why didn't you write, my dear, and tell us you were coming? We would have gotten you something warm for supper. Hello. <laughs> What's that? That's mine, Fagin. No, no, my dear. <laughs> mine, Bill, mine. You can have the books. <laughs> if that ain't mine. <clears throat> mine and Nazis, that is. I'll take the boy back again. Come on. Hand over. This is hardly fair, Bill. Fair or not fair? Hand over, I tell you. Hardly fair it is, Nazi. Do you think Nazi and me's got nothing to do with our precious time but to spend it chasing after young kids? Give it here, you avaricious old skeleton. Give it here! That's for I'll share the trouble, not half enough, neither. Here. Start a library. You can't keep the books. They belong to Mr. Brown, Lord. If he finds out you've got them, he'll be out right here after you. So he'll be out here, will he? What'd you tell him about us? Nothing. That remains to be seen. But if we find out you said anything, anything out of place, Fagin, I'll wager the young scoundrels told him everything. Stop him! Stand off me, or I'll split your heads against the wall! I don't care for that, Bill. The child shan't be armed unless you kill me first. Shut it. I'll still do that if you don't keep off. All right, all right, we've got him. What's the matter? The girl's gone mad, I think. No, she hasn't, Fagin. Don't you think it? Then keep quiet, will you? No, I won't keep quiet. All this violence. Try and run away, would you? I won't stand by. I see it done, Bill. You go on here. What more?